Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I, my, oh. my seat. You did it. You wanted to stop on 10 Word Story. Yeah, sure. Welcome to Good Mythical More because there wasn't enough hotness. You needed some more hotness. Actually, a little coolness. This is going to be great. We're going to decide what is better through straws versus not. But it's very first, controversial. But first, 10 Word Story. You start. That means you finish. That's right. Okay. Danny keeps finches alive because dead. Because what? Dead finches don't love Danny's. <laughs> <laughs> hey! We just told a good story. Yes, we did. Danny, Danny keeps, keeps finches, finches alive because, because dead finches, finches don't, don't love Danny's. <laughs> every a, every good Danny knows that. That's one of the best stories we've ever told. It's called Danny Boy. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Danny who loved his finches, <laughs> but he would kill them. No, 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 he didn't kill them. This is a fact. He, he kept them Strong. alive. Now... I'm glad we're starting with what I presume is a milkshake, and you're drinking it through the straw? Oh, it's not a milkshake. Uh, yeah, it's a milkshake. See, when you've burned your lip, you wanna, you wanna drink it, and you wanna put that lip down in it. I stuck my whole lips into that soup. I really don't know how you didn't burn your face I burnt, when you went into the soup. Dude. I burnt my hands, my lips, my mouth, and my tongue so many times, because I eat so fast that they have probably like four or five extra layers of skin that yours don't because you've treated them too sensitively. Well, I, that makes sense for Josh, but... It's like a tank. You're not a tank. It's like I this, mean, No, it's like leather. But you the don't, inside of my mouth is like leather. You, you don't eat hot temperature foods that often. Yeah, I do. I, I don't ever slow down because something is hot. And I think, and I, and I, I'm not saying I don't get burned. I'm just saying I've been burned. I think I was burned so many times as a kid that I build up a protective layer. You could go back in time and you can do it too. Okay, so this more <laughs> is all about, you know, some some beverages taste, well, the question is, do they taste better without a straw or better with a straw? Or is there a preferred way to drink them with or without a straw? Well, um, shakes. I, I, shakes. The way that I... <laughs> shakes is what he said. The way that I eat shakes is... I prefer a straw, but I use it like a spoon. I don't know why, but that's what I do. I'll do this. Because you're not saying straw or spoon, you're saying straw or drink it like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to drink a shake. You want to- Not one this thick. You want a straw a shake. And then if like, if it's if it's a super thick one. It's a, if it's a cookout shake? If Ooh. it's like a cookout Ooh, shake. boy. I love to eat the shake with the straw like it's a spoon. There's something about it just sticking to it. How you can't even eat a cookout shake with through, a straw. Not through when the you get straw, to no. The, yeah. What no, about no, a smoothie, I mean, like, though? With the straw as a spoon, if you get to like the lower portion, at least the cookout shakes that I like, because they're so... like. All the I get an Oreo shake and all the Oreo pieces kind of slowly float to the bottom. So like the bottom two inches of the cup is all like Oreo pieces. You can't take a straw and make it into a spoon yeah, for that. Yeah, it's a spoon situation. But mm. uh, this is, I'm just showing you what I do. But with a smoothie, I make my smoothie like my morning smoothie, which I don't do every morning. But when I do it, I make it where I can take it and put it in one of those workout bottle thing with a little pop top so because I don't like to get it on a mustache and I go really? like Really? Yeah, because if I take You a like a thin, thin, thin smoothie? This is all about efficiency. My smoothie tastes like death because it's just because it's made to give you life. It's not about enjoyment. Oh, it's, it's like a pre workout situation? It's got like that green stuff in it. And it's, it's just not, healthy. It's not horrible, but it's I'm making all the decisions based on health. And so I want to get it down as quickly as possible. So I literally, this is how long it takes me to do my smoothie. That's how long it takes him to do his smoothie. And then I'm done. And then I go on about my day. It takes me about 10 minutes to eat my smoothie because I eat it with a spoon. But is we it the consistency or is it, link. is it thin enough to drink? Yeah. That seems, now it's like eating soup. It's like eating cold soup. It's like eating soup, man. So, But I don't use a straw because... Yeah, you, 
you know, you don't want to use a straw unless you have to, especially if it's like a um, a trash straw, like a, a straw that then goes in the trash. Um, this is paper, so that's yeah. recyclable. That's nice, but well, but actually, there's I mean, a lot of places that don't give you straws at I all. I believe the in best the, straw is in the no approach. straw. I believe in the approach of the environmental. So you need straws. to be justified when you say yes. I would like a straw. A lot of places around here don't even give you a straw. I I just think that we haven't figured out the environmentally friendly straws yet. The paper straws, not it. No bueno. They're just horrible. It's not, it's not working. You got, it, there's some that like are made out of almost like a plastic, but it's not a plastic. It's like a biodegradable. Those are almost good enough. But a milkshake might be one of those things that you need a straw for. If it's between straw and just drinking with, with the cup, it's straw all the way. It has to be, because when you're doing this, you get the chunks that hit you in the nose. You don't want nose chunks. So let's leave that for later. And now, great you juice. wanna go with the... All right, so we're simulating wine by drinking grape juice. This is just like the grape juice in the, Bi the, in the Bible, okay? Oh, yeah. Mine blends it's in grape with my, juice. It's not wine. It's, it's like it's blood. Like Nadja's gonna drink the blood. Welch's. That's nice. Now, you know when you have a wine glass, it's it's supposed to be designed to not turn over when you hit it, but it, you just bury your nose in there, and then you turn it up. What what was that noise? Something happened to my throat. Oh, I thought it was technique. And then. But okay, I, see I've these straws had, are a little bit better. I've never had a simulated wine with a straw. Now, can I, I have a straw? For I've been told wine? that drinking wine through a straw is if you don't want to get your teeth stained. Oh. So this is super bougie. Is it bad and bougie? I kind of like the way that went in my mouth. <laughs> Who says I can't drink wine with a straw? But when the wine goes in your mouth, you're supposed to swish it around. That's proper. Technique. No, I want it to go right in the back and go down. Because you don't want to mess up I'll, those teeth that nobody ever sees. I want it to go. I want. I get the straw. How deep does the straw go in your mouth when you straw? <laughs> Mine, uh, mine's touching the back. It's touching the back. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's deep within the throat. Yeah, my straw hits my hits that little uh, punching bag. Punching bag in the back. Can you get the straw into your punching bag? Oh, that straw's at the very big. Get that, the straw I'm, to the I'm, punchy bag. I'm demonstrating where I where I suck on the straw. Well, can you try my technique? I'll take I don't. Yours. I don't have a uvula, dude. It burned off whenever they removed my tonsils. Okay, even better. Now you can go through it. Uh, see, go all the way to the back. Uh, no, it just came down. Uh, oh. No, no, relax. It. Oh, you got one. Uh, Let me take a picture. Oh, it came of it. back, dude. You've been saying ah. Like, watch. Let me just do a video of it. I'll show you. Uh, Hold on, let me get, I gotta get, I gotta expose for the inside of your mouth. I gotta go light, I'm sorry. How do I do the video light? I'm old. Oh, stop the video. Okay. Now. It's still not working, but here we go. Okay, now, now relax. Okay, look. Look how much it comes back. So there you are. But you see, it's only half of a uvula. No, it's not. How? No. Oh. Oh. You have less of a uvula than me, dude. Let me put it on your phone, because I don't want it on my phone. <laughs> yeah, because I've been hitting it with a straw. I was already filming. Three, two. Oh. Put your tongue down. Oh. Tilt your head up. Watch that. <laughs> Is that how I sound? Put your tongue down. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Put your tongue if down. If that's the question, yeah, that's exactly Pick what your you head said. up. So yeah, I've been hit my uvula with my straw. Now, what? how about you? Oh. See how deep you can get it. You don't even taste it. It goes, yeah, it goes. Oh, God. it just bypasses the whole mouth. Yeah, it's like a, it's like it's like an enema for your throat. Like if you were to a party and they had bad wine, you'd be like, "Give me a second. Can I have a straw? <laughs> it's all the way in the back. <laughs> it's hard. It's, even, it's hard to suck like that. Seriously, when they remo removed my tonsils, um, 
they have to burn them to like cauterize it where they remove yeah. your tonsils. And that started bleeding, they had to take me back in there and they did it again and when they did that, they burned off the end of my uvula, I'm pretty sure. My uvula used to be a lot longer. Do they tell you they like, did this? I had the longest fleshy uvula. Did they tell you seen. they did this? Because if they did that, just you like, would have been in so much pain. It was just like, it was just dangling down there. It was like, <laughs> hey, uh, now it's like up here. So wine, which is not well, grape juice, better with Don't a straw. Don't ever drink it with a straw, okay. no. I'm on team straw. So these are virgin <laughs> Moscow merls. Merl. Yeah, this is like the basic, like, origination of this concept is that a lot of cocktail aficionados feel like you should not drink a cocktail with a straw because it changes the experience of the cocktail. But we can't have cocktails. On Why do they put straws so. in so many cocktails then? If you put a straw in my face, I usually know. grab it and suck it. Now, if there's a straw in it and you don't want to go for it, you could lose an eye. So, Especially if it's a bronze type of a straw. I mean, this this could kill, there's lots of ways. Yeah, I'm not even trained that I can kill you with this. It'll blind you. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't have these inside of a prison. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. You can't have something like this inside of a place like that. You can't, I mean, what? this is a shiv, man. Yeah, don't, don't, don't take it to prison. I could go right through your ear, right into the side of your brain. Don't. Now, this is a special cup that like. Yes, yeah, a special cup. It's fun to put your lips on. You get a nice scent of the mint on top. Scent of the mint. <laughs> I mean, you miss all of that with the straw. Every single bit of it. Look at that. I can transfer ice from mine to yours with this. With this. And you wouldn't even know it. Like I told you to look over there and I'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like if it was, this was poison ice. <laughs> you know, see how how that, how that went. Uh, you know what's almost a thing of the distant past. Rhett's birthday. Um, so, but we're still celebrating. That's why I'm putting up with this crap. Right. Um, so you can get his discounts over at um, the Mythical Society. There's discounts on the second degree, third degree, monthly, and quarterly subscriptions. Second degree, you can get it for seven dollars instead of ten. Third degree, you can get it for fifteen instead of twenty. Third, de third degree quarterly, you can get it for forty-four instead of fifty-five. Go to mythicalsociety.com for details. While time is still here, listen. When are we stopping celebrating this? All I can say is today. I, I hope today. you're having as much. Today's the last freaking day. I hope you're having as much fun with straws as I am at 45. All the stuff that oh crap that it almost went in worked. There. <laughs> Did you see that? There's hair on that straw. Yeah, pick. pick I'm, might I'm as sorry. well pick it up now. Because I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. It'll be a thing. But I, I, I'm actually saying, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I can't think of a reason to want a straw for this. I know. I know. Look over there. Oh, hey! I'm, uh, I am on task. I uh, I, I prefer uh, not having a straw for a cocktail. Now that I have a mustache, a straw. a straw is very helpful, but... Speaking of mustache, no straw with milk definitely leads to a milk stash. Yeah, but the thing about a cup like this is it's almost a straw. <laughs> You're in rare form today, aren't you? I have to, I have to think about this stuff because I have a Everything's mustache. Everything's not meant to be deep throated. <laughs> <laughs> well, see if you can do what I just did. You got a bigger mouth than me. I can do it. We'll see how it feels. See how it feels. I don't want to hurt my jaw. You're too concerned about personal safety, man. I've never even been to the hospital. Now, of, of all the. Of all those years that you drank milk with all your meals, did you ever put a straw in it? No, no, no. My dad uh, believed in drinking milk with heavy meals, but my dad would not drink any drink with a straw my entire childhood. Like, if you bring him a like a soft drink, at, if they give you at McDonald's a drink with a top on it, he would be like, take the top off, throw it away, and he, and he would drink it. He was he had something about putting a straw in your mouth. He was it, he would never do it. it it was because um, 
did did he think it would it would make him gay? I don't know, but I've been making up for it ever since. I mean, what is the reason? You think yeah, it makes I, me look dainty or something? Yeah, like, no, I think it. I think it is like an old school. Conservative, you're telling me this like, makes me look dainty. <laughs> now drink it. Dr drink as much as you can. The gross. There's no place factor. <laughs> The, this episode and the more have been so gross. Yeah, well, Nicole had to leave because she was gagging. Because you, <laughs> just because you ringed your beard out, uh, that's I'm, the thing yeah, that got Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, I mean I'm mean, i sorry. Clean, I wouldn't watch today's episode. Clean all this, too, yeah, because I wouldn't that watch. came out of your face. I wouldn't watch, I wouldn't watch either. Um, hmm. You don't need a straw for milk. Damn. But it's not about, do you need, you don't need a straw for anything. But like, what is the experience? Is it a better experience without a straw? That's don't, a, tell us about it. <laughs> I, I, I really can't speak to the experience. I mean, I'm. Yeah, but if this was poison milk, and you were drinking that, and I was like, hey, look at that little bird over there. <laughs> I mean, you're on to you, something how, with this. Like, how, how you can you do that with how a How would you feel about that? Like, that's fun. Yep. These are, uh, Stevie, it those bamboo, those bamboo straws, by the way. Uh, these are good, these are good. It feels like it's plastic. These are good, good straws, you know what I'm saying? Not plastic. We would not. They are bamboo. I know, but I'm saying they feel like plastic, so I'm really surprised. Bamboo fiber straws, yeah. Don't, oh, pay, don't do the paper, do the bamboo straws. This is so much... So this is better for the environment because it's, it's bamboo. You can. It is the environment. <laughs> but it doesn't say anything on there. We use a natural bamboo, a renewable and sustainable resource, with our innovative eco technology, to produce 100% biodegradable, biodegradable. And compostable, plastic-free straws. But this is this is pretty amazing because they do behave in every way like plastic straws. Our bamboo fiber straws can retain their shape in hot and cold drinks between 5 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit for over 24 hours, unlike paper straws. Enjoy your beverages with plastic-free and toxin-free drinking straws. This is really good to know about, these, these yeah, straws. Yeah, that's, that's good there. Get yourself some bamboo fiber Not straws. Not a sponsor. These are superior. If you need to get a straw, this is what Mythical uh, recommends. Why moon? Okay, this is the last one, and it, it you know, I do think it's a more Why daily moon? use question. Uh, is for this water? Ice water. Ice water. I've never... Oh, well, see, some people have teeth sensitivity. I do. It does make it go past the teeth. But when I just drink a water, water actually tastes bad. Is that the straw that tastes bad or the water? Did you get this from the river? Fresh out of the river. You got it from the sink? Thank you. Burbank tap water. Burbank tap water. You know, there's a filter right there on the sink, too. Yeah. That thing that's shaped like this, and you... Well, that's filter. Hey, listen, I drink tap water. It keeps you, keeps you, keeps you young. Doing this right here. That tastes horrible. It's amazing how bad the I have the no tap idea what's going on. You have no idea what's going on? Well, is it tap... Is it's, it's just tap water, and it tastes horrible. Why do we put... Why is it tap water? It's a test. <laughs> it's a test, Stevie. It's a test. To see if we make it through the, through the night. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I am noticing that the I can make it go past my teeth, and so ice water does not prick my sensitivities. You're saying you can do, you can do water without touching the teeth already? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It goes over the tongue. Mm. And so you're discovering this? Like, this isn't like a... Well, I Because I have, like, I a never visceral thought about it, reaction no. to this particular one. Because yeah. I... It does hurt my teeth to drink ice water. Oh, is that why you have your... your? Well, somebody had to get... I'm not going to say... Somebody had to get some water for you at some point. And no. they and they you were like, "You know what? That is false." And they brought it in. They said, "Room temperature water." Steve. Room that is not true. Water. Room temperature water. That room was miscommunicated. And we I were, said, we're, we're "I said, like, no, we'll no, no, no." I said, "Tastes like crap." 
they said, do you want any specific snacks or beverages? And I said, as long as there's water, I'm fine. And it and has that to be got exactly room temperature. temperature. Yeah, that got translated into there has to be room temperature liquid death there. But all I said was, <laughs> as long as there's that's, water. That's what I heard. Room well, yeah, temperature. but you know what we had? We had room temperature liquid death. For and you. it was so good. <laughs> and you liked it. This does not need a straw. The only yeah. thing that needs a straw is a milkshake, a, a milkshake. and wine. <laughs> Today is the last day to celebrate my birthday with special deals on Mythical Society subscriptions. MythicalSociety.com for details.